Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking With Me, and today we're going to do Melina's challenge for this week, and it is index cards, and decorating them up, and making them a part of your journal. Now, I thought I didn't have any index cards, but I went searching, and guess what? I found plenty. These are actually in a little notebook, and I think I'll use some of those and tear them out and just leave that top. These are some that, I don't know, I've had for a little while. These are some, as you can see, the, the col discoloration on them. These I've probably had for 30 years or more. They're very, very old and vintage. <laughs> I mean, you can see how colored they are. Look at that. Look at on the back. So, now these are large. Uh, I'm not even sure. Let's see. Uh, these are six... Uh, these are four by six, so these are large. I don't know that I'll use these unless I cut them in half, but we'll probably use some of these and then a few of these. Now what she did is she just decorated her index card. Now she went ahead and splattered and colored hers first, but I think I'm going to decorate mine all up, so I'm not going to need to do that in the beginning. So, let's get started. There's lots of different things you can do to index cards. Now these, these are kind of thin. They were probably a cheap, cheap index card. But by the time we put some paper and embellishments and things on the top, they're going to be just right for pockets. Or you can leave the back plain and it can be a good journaling card. So let's get started on that. Now, I don't know. I think, hmm, I'm thinking that I might collage on one of these a little bit because I have tons of little scraps over here that I've just laid aside. So I'm thinking that's what I might do. Let's just see. See I like that. This is just this was an old I don't know where this came from. Let's see if it says on the back studio 112 I think these are some old tags and they were really too thin to do anything else with so what I, I did is I just laid them in my stash and didn't know what to do with them so this this would be a good thing I think use it for collage paper because you don't have to have any paper that's thick to do your collaging with now I'm tearing mine toward me of course when you tear toward you you get that white core but if you don't like that white core, you can tear backwards and you won't have the white core on the piece that you want to use. I am going to ink mine. And I will ink around the card when we finish it. But for right now, I'm probably going to lay some pieces down first and then we'll decide how we want to put everything together. Let's see. I'm just looking. You wouldn't believe the stuff that I have laying over here. I've been working on journals, so I have lots of different things laying here. <laughs> lots and lots of things. So I'm just going to grab out some pieces. This is just a scrap piece of, uh, hmm, this was, this is from some paper pad, and I don't know which, just a scrap piece. I'm going to use my little tear tool so it doesn't look like a little rat chewed it off okay and what we'll do is we'll just lay all of our pieces out here and try to see if that's what we want to use so use up those index cards i know you've got them just like i do we all say we don't have them and then we get to looking in our stash and lo and behold there they are tons and tons of them <laughs> uh, let's see what about this under here? We could just bring that down a little bit like that. That'll work. I'm going to tear it off. This is just a, I don't know, from a digital somewhere. And I printed it on copy paper, and it was a little bit too thin for what I wanted to use it for. So, of course, I stuffed it in my stash. Not going to throw it away, are we? We can't throw things away. <laughs> Who has that problem other than me? See, even those little pieces, I'm thinking, what could I do with those? That's that's getting a little bit beyond 
Okay, so there we go. And then, and of course we're gonna put a focal point on here so you don't have to decorate all the back up with beautiful pictures and things like that because we're gonna come back in with a focal point. Now, of course, I always like to come in with some book page. That book page kind of breaks everything up and makes everything blend together a little bit better. This piece might look cute right in here, so let's go ahead and put that down. Okay, I'm kind of liking the looks of that, so I'm going to go ahead and ink and start gluing down. Now, there's something else that you can do to these, and I'll probably do it to a couple of mine. And I saw, I saw a lady last year. I have no clue who it was. I don't even remember what I was watching. But she did these, and then in the corner, she put a little hole and did a charm hanging from it. And I thought those were absolutely adorable. We'll probably do it to a couple. Now, I need my eyelets and I can't find my eyelets since they've been stored away who knows where they went but I'm, I'm just going to do it with just a regular hole punch and not put an eyelet in it but you would probably need to put an eyelet in it in order for it to hold for a long time but since I can't find mine we're just going to go with what we've got I looked a little while this morning but I didn't want to dig deep so I just left it now let's see hmm I think I want to go a little bit off of my paper with my pieces so I'm just going to bring in a piece of this this is just what like stickers the backer backing of stickers so I'm just going to go like this and then what I'll do is I will trim them off around the edges I like to do that and then that gives you that little bit of a surprise look or that gives you that little element of surprise when you finish let's see we need to put this one down probably first like that let's see I need something I'm gonna tuck that one up under there but I do need some little something right there but we'll come back with that So how is everyone today? I haven't asked in the last couple of videos. I'm trying to get caught up in a head. And I haven't haven't asked how you're doing. I hope everybody's okay. Let's see. I don't want to run them all the same way. So I think on this one, I'm going to run it like this. And then with our book page, we'll come right down through there with that book page. Let's see. We might even tear that book page in half. Just put a little piece here and a little piece down here. That will work. So we are good here where it's very hot in Alabama. We're gearing up for the 4th of July. All of the kiddos are coming and grandkids. Of course, we'll be, I don't know if we'll be shooting any fireworks or not. It'll depend on how dry it is. They may fix it where we can't this year. You know, some years they lock it down where you can't have any fireworks because of the dryness. But we've had kind of a wet season, but it has been dry in the last few days or week now I'm just going to trim around it and that gives you that little bit of element of surprise when you flip it over now you can do your collaging on the other side and leave the lines on the back side to write on but I'm just going to do it like this Ooh, that was sticky look at that I think that's cute now we're going to put a focal point on here I'm going to bring in just a little piece of this. I have no idea. This was sold to me as uh, 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 cheesecloth, but it doesn't really look like cheesecloth, so I don't know what it is. But we're going to put a piece of that down, I think. It's cute, whatever it is. It can be used because it's thin, so it can be used for cheesecloth. 
Now, I know somebody's going to say this, so I'm going to go ahead and tackle it right here. I have a lot of people who say, I can't believe you put all that stuff down and then you cover things up. Well, that is just, that's just collaging. That's just crafting in general. Sometimes you put things down and then you end up covering something up. That's just the way it goes. But as you can see, I'm not covering everything up. I'm just putting that right down the middle. I'm using our little tool here to press that glue in. And then you can just wipe that tool off when that dries. So no, I don't cover everything up. But sometimes I do end up covering something up that I have put down. But that's, that's what collaging is all about. Right now let's find a nice focal point for that. And let's see where we're going to go with it. I think we'll go right in here. See if I've got some flowers that might be the right size. Some of these are really, really big, so I don't know if they'll be the right size or not. Yeah, those are, those are humongous. We might have a, here's a little one. Oh, and that's pink, too. That goes well with that. So I'm going to leave those flowers out. We may use another one here or there. And then some of those Tim Holtz flowers I think would be pretty, too. So I think I'll put that down. And then I'm going to go with maybe a word or something in the background. And this is a um, ephemera journal that we made. It... it will be linked below. I've got quite a few ephemera journals and I like them. All right. I like having my stuff stored in a location where I can easily grab it and not have to dig through my scraps like over here. <laughs> These I've just not sorted out yet. I have been working on journals so I had a lot pulled out and I've just not sorted them back out and put them away. So we'll get that done sooner or later when I get through with all the journals. Let's see. I want a word. And I may just grab, yeah, that'll work. I'm going to grab one of these words, and these are from Betty. They, um, well, she did them for us, so they're one of our freebies for this month. You can go over to the link below and download the freebie. All you need to do is be a subscriber to our YouTube channel. But Betty is our one of our designers now, along with Bethany. And, of course, Bethany hasn't been in a real good frame of mind to do a lot of things since her little puppy got gone so she is a little bit behind on her designing and that's fine I'm not I'm not going to pressure her she can just get back to it when she wants oh that'll be cute I like that okay we're going to go ahead and put that down this is Fabri-Tac I just don't have it in my bottle yet because I need to I need Melina, if you're watching Melina, I need you to bring me some uh, acetone so I can put my, put it in my bottle for my other, so I don't lose my other, just to mix it up. And to loosen it, it's a little bit thick, so I need to loosen it up a little bit. There we go. Pull that down. All right, let's give it a little haircut right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and ink around. Now, you can, hmm, let's see. I think I'm going to cut my corners. Am I going to cut them or round them? I think I'll round the corners. You don't have to do this. Uh, you can leave them squared off. Oops, maybe I'm not going to round them. I got a lot of ink on it. I got a lot of glue on here, so I may not round them. 
I'm, and I'm just using the one quarter inch on here. We do have these in the store now. I think we've still got some. Ooh, looks like we might have one left. We will get some more ordered. But it has the one quarter and the one half, and they punch very well, but your page and everything needs to be dry, and mine's definitely not. It's still very wet. Okay. So there is that one, and then I'll show you what I was talking about with the little charm. Let's go ahead and get our hole punch, and we'll get one of these bulb clips. I think we do have these in the store as well. We did have, I haven't looked lately, but Melina tries to keep all of that caught up, so she's our little inventory lady. Okay, what color do we want to put in here? Oh, let's grab this pink one. I didn't realize I had a pink one, but there's a pink one right there. And then I'm just going to grab one of these little key charms. Oops. Hmm. Not that one. I don't want that one. I want this one. And we'll run that through there, and then this goes through there. And then there is, whoops, I put mine on backwards, I think. There's your little charm hanging on there. Isn't that cute? All right. So then, there is your little charm hanging on there. Isn't that cute? And there is that one. All right, let me take this autofocus off. There we go. Okay, now, let's go ahead and do another I think I like these, Melina. Good idea. If you are not taking part in Melina's challenges, she does one a week. You can go to the link below where I have to say Melina's channel or Melina's video, something to that effect. Go to that link and you can go over and see her challenges. I think she may have them in a playlist. Melina, hopefully you have those in a playlist. And you can go back and see all of the challenges and take part in those. So we're going to lay that one aside. That'll be good for a pocket or a journaling card, either one. And I'll probably use some of mine for pockets. All right, let's do one. Let's see. Let's do another that size, maybe. And I think, yeah, we'll do another one like that. And again, we're just going to grab some scraps from over here. And I'm just going to pull in some different scraps and then we'll get started putting everything together. Okay, I think I'm going to start out with this little piece there. So I'm going to go ahead and tear that off. And this is just a digital postcard that I purchased offline and I can't couldn't tell you who it was. I just all I did was went through and searched digital postcards and it brought this one up. I'm gonna have to get that off of that plastic or it's not gonna tear right. Now this I'll tell you I printed this on regular copy paper. And I printed it in my laser printer. That's why the tearing is like that. Because the laser printer puts just a little bit of shine to the top of your images. And when it does that, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it makes it a little bit harder to tear. I don't know if you've noticed that or not, but with my printer, it does. Now, I know all of this is not going to go on there, but I'm going to go ahead and ink around it. And I'm going to put it down like this. And then this little part right here, I'm just going to go ahead and tear off. So we'll glue that down like that. And I'll probably use this piece down here. But I don't know why my printer does that. And I don't know if all digital printers do that. But I know, or laser printers, but I know mine does. And it's a little bit frustrating because they don't tear as well. I don't know why. I guess it's that little bit of 
shine that it puts to it. A little bit of coating on the top, maybe. Let's see. We'll bring in some of this blue. This is another just old digital that I printed. Sometimes I forget and print them on regular copy paper. And when I do that, I don't really use them for... Um, I don't use them for ephemera just because they are thin. So I will use them, but I take them down, you know, I cut them down and I use them for different things like this. And see, that was another one that was printed on my laser and it's got that little shine to the top of it and it didn't tear well. We're going to put that right there and I'm going to get my butterfly on there, hopefully. And let's see. Might bring that little postage stamp in there. You can see what I'm dealing with and this is just part of it. This is the little tray that one of you guys sent me and I've just got some little pieces in here. You can see down through there. So and it's overflowing. Overflowing big time. Okay, let's put those back over there. Then I think I'll use this piece. This has got some writing on it and I'm just tearing this one with my fingers because I know it's got that little bit of gloss to the top so I know it's not gonna tear well. Okay, that one there. But it's nice to use up some of your scraps and this is a very good way. I think Melina had a great idea. Okay. I think I might just put a piece of this under there. This is some of that drawing paper that I tell you guys about, and I will try to remember to link it below. I usually have it in my products used, but if I have failed to leave it there, I'll try to remember to put it again. But it's called drawing paper on Amazon, but I get it and I use it to back my tags and things with because it you can write on it and it writes so pretty. I mean, everything just comes out so clear when you write on it, so I like that. Um, so I like using it. And I think I'm just gonna bring in a little piece of vellum on this one too. Let's see. Okay, we'll, we'll do something like that. I don't know if it'll be exact, but we'll, we'll do something like that. Are you like me? You like to lay it down first and kind of look at it, or you just start gluing? Sometimes I just start gluing, and then other times I like to lay it down and take a look at it and see if, you know, it's what I'm looking for, and if it's not, then I'll do something different. I don't know. Depends on how much of a hurry I'm in, I mean, I guess. Oh, did you guys notice I caught it with your comments? Other than yesterday's video. I've still got to do those, but I did catch up with some comments. I have been trying. I have been working. Let's see. And I hope I answered all your questions. I tried to. I don't think I inked on that one. If I missed one, just nudge me a little bit and I'll, I will get it. And if, if I don't answer your comments in a timely manner and you have a question that, you know, you would like to have an answer to, just email me. That's a really good way. I go through all of my emails every morning and then a couple of times during the day. So if I have not emailed or ha haven't answered your question on the YouTube, then just send me a email and we'll get it answered that way. I think I'm gonna put that one there. See, I did end up changing some things. I don't know, let's see. Maybe I'll come in, in like that. Hmm, I put this a little bit too far over this way, but that's okay. I'm going to cover part of it up. It's not a big deal. I can print more of those. It's just printed on regular copy paper, and it's a digital. 
But anyway, I hope I said that correctly. I was trying to think while I was, <clears throat> excuse me, while I was talking. Thinking and talking with me, not always a good idea. So something you need to know quick, just email me and I'll try my best to answer it. I don't always know the answers. But when I do, I'll try to answer it. And then if I don't know, I'll try to find somebody who does. Now that one's a little bit more hodgepodgey. But, and I do need something right there, I think. Let's see. Let's just, let me see. Do we want to do that? Yeah. This is one of the stamps that Betty made for our digitals. Now, I printed these on regular copy paper, too. Not intending to, but just because I wanted to get them printed out so I could show you guys. But I would definitely print these on something a little bit heavier than regular copy paper, just so that you could use them in your journals and not have to back them with anything. All of my ephemera I try to, try to print out on a little bit heavier cardstock. Not necessarily heavy cardstock, but it's a paper that I buy from, I buy mine from Walmart, but it's, a little bit heavier than just regular copy paper. And see, it's amazing to me how it looks completely different once you trim it off. Uh, to me, the items come together a lot better once you trim it. And especially when you trim it straight, Edith. All right, there we go. I'm going to go ahead again and round the corners on this. Just because I'm liking those rounded corners lately. Hopefully my glue is dry enough. Okay, then we shall, well, it was almost dry. Then we shall ink around it, and I'm using Vintage Photo. That's my go-to ink. You can use whatever ink you want or not ink around them at all. Now, another thing that would make these look very pretty, and I'll probably do that on some of these. Do you see how my vellum is picking up right there? It's because I used the wrong glue. Um, I will probably stitch around some of these. I don't know if I said ink or stitch, but I'll probably stitch around some of these. Not all of them, but some. And if you don't have a sewing machine and you don't want to stitch, you can do some faux stitching. I think Melina did that on one of hers. So you can do just some faux stitching. That will work too. Now on this one, I think I will put a little piece of trim at the bottom. And I am going to cut part of this top off because it's kind of wrinkled up. It's hard to use. So I'm just going to slice it down through there. And then we'll come in and put that right there and then we'll put a focal point on here. Okay, I'm going to use a few of these are the Tim Holtz Botanicals and they have 83 pieces in here. It's huge. And we have these in the shop. I'll try to remember again to link these below, but they're very, very pretty. You can see that. Isn't that gorgeous? So, let's see. That one's a little bit too blendy for the background. Hmm. That one, too much. Let's see, maybe a big butterfly. Too big. It also has butterflies in it. Hmm, I don't mind that. All right, let's put our lace down. Let me see which side's the front. I think that's the front. Do you do like me? You flip your lace over and over to try to figure out which one's the front and which one's the back? I think they do that just to confuse us. All right, I'm going to leave my lace hanging off just a little bit at the bottom. We can still use that for a pocket without any problem. Then I'll cut it off on each end. Just cut it off even. Then we'll put our little butterfly right there. But I am going to ink around. You could trim this white off, but I find that just inking it makes a big difference. So I just... Put a little ink on there because it has that little white border on them. Because these are not flush cut, they're just cut out with a big machine that trims around them like that. Oh, I like that. 
Rati. Now, I usually use Fabri-Tac on these big butterflies. They're a little bit thick, not too thick, but they're thicker than just regular copy paper. And when I'm putting it down on something like this, I definitely use it. And I'm not going to put it in the center. I'm going to do it like that. So it just sticks a little bit better when you do that. And then, what do you guys think? Yep, I think I'm going to have to have some bling in the middle. I have found source for this bling. I have ordered a bunch of it. So we shall see <laughs> if I get it this time. You know, the last time I ordered it, I didn't get it. I had to get a refund. So we'll see if we get it this time. I love this bling. Look at that. Let's see if we can do the autofocus again. Look at that. Isn't that cute? There we go. It focused. I think that's cute. I hope that doesn't bother you, me turning that off and on. That's how I'm having to do it right now because I still haven't learned how to get it to just autofocus when I hold something up and not you know, do that weird thing where it focuses off and on. I don't like that because that tends to make everybody sick and I can see why it makes me sick too. <laughs> but for right now, that's what I'm doing. All right, we're gonna do one of these and I'm gonna leave that top just like it is probably. I may pull a few of these little thick pieces off, but I don't mind that torn look. Now this one, hmm, let's see, I'm thinking, okay, I won't be able to use that as a pocket if I leave that sticking up because everything would hang on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collage this and then I'm going to, you know, it has that little perforation there, and then I'm going to fold this down after I ink it and let that be the little reinforcement there maybe maybe that makes sense if it doesn't just hang on you'll see what I'm doing okay what are we gonna start off with okay you can see my everything's merging over here I think I'm gonna start off with this little piece of scrap paper I'm put that down like that so that'll go there and then I've just got a lot of these little pieces that I used, I cut off when I was making my journals. So we're going to use some of these. And let's see if my, see if my ruler is going to tear this. I may even use that piece since I've already got it out. Oh yeah, my ruler tears that fine because this is just regular copy paper that's printed on my HP regular ink printer, inkjet printer. So we'll use a piece of that there, like that. This one's going to have some yellows in it. And then maybe a little piece of this. I'm going to tear the end of that because it's not torn and it's a little bit too straight for me. There we go. And then we need something in the middle right there. All right, let's see what that looks like. Nope, I don't like that because I've got pieces that are going the same way too much. So maybe that way. Let's do that. All right, there's one that way. Okay, I think I got it now, hopefully. So let's start gluing. Oh, don't forget to sign up for the newsletter because it will be coming out the 1st of June, July. I'm start to say June. This is June, Edith. And I will be listing in there the places that we will be in July 
So in case you're in the area and you want to come by and say hi, Aaron will be singing in a lot of the locations. So I'll list all of those places in there so that we'd love to have you come by and hear Mr. Air. Let's see, I put that up the other way, didn't I? I'll run that that way. All right, what am I going to come in? I need a piece of book page or something. And all, all you need to do to sign up for the newsletter is just go to the website and there'll be a pop-up. And when it pops up, just put in your information. That is it. Okay, I didn't use... Let's see. No, I don't want to use that one. I think I'm going to use this one, but I'm going to tear it down a little bit if I can. There we go. Put it right there. And the first of the AJ videos goes up in just a little while at 12 o'clock today. So check that out if you purchased an AJ video and if you, I mean, if you purchased an AJ kit and if you didn't, you can still check the video out. Uh, we're not going to make these videos private just because we are we have included some different things for the ones who purchased the kit some digitals and things like that so all right we're going to trim this off okay there we go and then i'm going to ink this really well right here these little pieces and i think i'm going to fold them down just like that and glue them. I kind of like that. I don't know. Nobody else might like not like it, but I do. Something different. Just make sure that you glue all those little pieces well. Yeah, see, I don't mind that. And then we'll put our focal point on there. And let's see if we have a yellow flower somewhere. Probably not. Well, we could use the pink one. Or we might use a bird. Let me look and see if Betty has me a bird in here. I think she did some birds, but I think I've already taken them out and put them in my bird book. Let's see. Oh, there's a pretty flower. Nope. I'm going to use that one. Yeah, let me look in my bees, butterflies, and bugs, and birds. Bees, butterflies, birds, bugs, I don't know. It's all the bees. Let's see if I put them in here. Yep, I did. Right there they are. She was so gracious to cut these out on her scan and cut for me and sent them to me. So now it's now picking out which one we want. Oh, I don't mind that one. So let's do that. This is my bee book. It's bees, butterflies, bugs, and birds. <laughs> oh, then I have a label book. <laughs> I'm going to put that down, but I'm going to put something behind it because to me it's not standing out enough. And let's see what we have over here. Just grab something out of my stash. I don't know if this would be enough to put behind it or not. No. Alright, we're going to come in with a little piece of book page to put behind it. Sometimes you need just need that little piece that will separate like your bird or your focal point from the background. Let's see, I'm going to tear it off a little bit. I don't need quite that much. Yeah, that'll work. Let's 
So we'll put that piece down right there. And then our bird, we'll put him, him down right there. It makes him look like he's sitting on that. Okay, now on this one, I do want a label. So let me grab my label book. This is, well, this is also stamps, but it's mainly the labels. Um, and I may have to go to my, uh, no, let's see right here. I start to say I may have to go to the ones I printed and hadn't cut out yet. Mm hmm. No, that's a little bit big. I don't think I want that one. And that's really big. I don't think I want that one, so hang on. Let's look through here. We might just put down one of these. Yep, that's going to work. And these are Tracy Fox Love Junk Journals on Etsy. And she has tons of different labels. I think these are just called random labels. And now, let's see, do I want it up there? I think I do, I think I want it up there. Okay, there's that one, cute. All right. Let's do another and let's use one of these. Now I think I'll probably cut these down. These are quite large. And I, don't, I know they would be too big for my journal. Okay, we'll be able to get two out of this. Okay, I think we're going to put that down right to there. Oh, I didn't round the corners on this or ink it, did I? You weren't here to remind me. Where did you go? All right. Now let's start again. This one I think I'll run up down this way and I'll let this be a journaling card maybe. I think we'll put that on there. Piece of that. And I do need this edge torn. So that will go there. That piece will go there. I think I'm going to put that like that, and then I'm going to put some little something to break that up. Probably a little piece of book page. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's glue this piece down. And then this piece is going to go down here, and that looks like a huge hotel. And what this is, is like a hotel registry. But I don't want to lose that little piece right there, so I think I'm going to tear that off and put it like that, maybe. Don't want to lose that little stamp there. So we're just going to put it that way. All right, and then I'm going to come in with some book pages, just little pieces that have some writing on it that it'll make it look kind of like a label. And we'll put one right up there. And then another small one that has a number on it. Um, right here, like that. The, <laughs> the caption on this one, I don't know if you can see it or not. I've got it glued to my table. The caption on this one says, Heaven had mercy. <laughs> yep. Every day. All right. I'm going to have to get another one of these because my pieces keep gluing to my desk. All right. Now, I think I want some little, just a little piece of something right down through here because that's a little bit too plain right there. So let's see what we've got that we might can just run down the edge. Just a little piece of something. Let's 
see if that will work. Yep, that'll work. So see, that's why I don't like throwing these little bitty scraps away. You can find a place for them. I know I told you guys I saw a lady the other day that those little punches where we do the little punch out at the top of our pockets and things, she used those and made a really pretty billy band. <laughs> a lot more <laughs> creative than I would be, but uh, and a lot more time consuming than I would want to do, but she did it. And it looked pretty. Alright, we're going to trim all around this. And yes, I trim when my glue is wet, but I just take alcohol to my scissors and clean them up. And it works fine. It's not a problem. Never had an issue with it. Cleans right up. Okay, so there's that. But I'm going to put a little focal point on there. Yeah, I like that one. And then let's grab a focal point. What shall we like? No, not that one. Oh, that would be pretty because we got that purple in the background. I kind of like that one. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but I don't think I have one that's larger. Wait a minute. We have this one. Hmm. Let me look. Maybe I do have a larger one. No, that's the same size. Okay. Let's see. You want to make a flower garden? We could do that. Let's make a little flower garden. We'll put both of them on there. Put a little ink on the white. this glue is going to hold this. This is pretty flat. So I think it will not be a problem. And I'm going to put that that way. I know it may be a flower that runs across the other way, but you know what? On this particular project, it's going to go like that. Put that one right there. Just kind of leaning out that way. Yeah, I like that. So there is another, and I'm just going to leave that as my label. I'm not going to worry about putting another label on there. You could also put a charm on this one too if you wanted to. So let's see what we have made. We've made that one, that one, that one, and that one. We put the little charm on this one. I like the charms on them. Okay, so I think that may be all that we make in this video. I just don't want it to be too extra long, but I like all of them. They're all pretty, and they can all be used in our journals. And what I would do, let's just grab, let me find a piece of paper. Well, let's just pretend this is our journal page. And what I would do is if I wanted to use this for a pocket, I would glue it down to the bottom like that just glue it on three sides have it for a pocket or if I wanted to use this these would be good for little journaling cards and just put them in that pocket like that tuck them in you can write on the back and like I said this is <laughs> already vintaged around the edges so but that's the way I would use them oops I got a piece coming up right there and then like this one you can go down that way isn't that cute so that's how I would use those. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and go over and check out Melina's videos, her challenges and her other videos. Make sure that you subscribe. We would really appreciate it. She is part of our company. And when you subscribe to her, you're helping all of us out as well. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.